in this video revealing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make money on Instagram and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience and what that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that Selfless Plus have opened up for this week's free workshop. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out below. All right guys, so this method is really interesting because you can see that it is proven to get results. Like, look at this. I literally pulled in $346,000 in net commissions for a product that I did not have to create. And understand this, I'm not the smartest person in the world at all, okay? If I could do this, what's stopping you? But when it comes to making money with Instagram, you need to understand the fundamentals, not just on Instagram, but sales and marketing and online business in general. Because what not a lot of people understand is Instagram is literally just a place where you can find people that are severely unhappy with some type of aspect in their life, right? It's either health, wealth, love, happiness, all these things are human needs that we always want, right? And the thing about these pain points is because they're pain points, people are willing to buy their way out of it, right? So regardless where you are, if you're beginning in Instagram or later on, you gotta understand what pain point does your brand, your persona, your page essentially solve? Like for example, back in the day, you know, I created like this Instagram page just only for people that wanted to get bigger butts. I kid you not, right? And it was known as Booty Plump. And we made like five grand from that, right? But, but it just shows you that that pain point was literally solving people that wanted bigger butts. Another one we had was like longer lashes, right? There was a problem that we noticed in the, the female space, so we created like an Instagram theme page literally about like people getting longer lashes because it solved the pain point of people wanting longer lashes. Another one was like uh, whiter teeth. We found a product uh, that literally solves that product or, or that pain point of not having white teeth and we sold that on the back end, right? But remember, when it comes to Instagram, understand, it's not necessarily the pictures that you post you know, on your page that makes you money, it's what problem are you solving? So before you begin on making money with you know, Instagram, you gotta understand that the reason why the most Instagrammers that make the most money are the ones that solve a specific pain point is because it helps people get inspired with travel and they're depressed. They don't wanna, they, they wanna go out but they don't know how so they give them a bunch of tips. Is it cooking? Is it dating? Is it inspiration? Is it you know, traveling? Is it online business? Is it something? You have to identify the pain point that people are in. Because once you understand the pain point, that's exactly how people go ahead and make money. And this is exactly the example of how this actually works, the pain point scale. Because the bigger the pain point, the more money you could actually make. And this is essentially what teaches you exactly how to make money on Instagram, right? Because what you have here is the value that people get and then the price, okay? So the more value people receive because of the pain point that they feel, the more money you could actually make. So essentially what you have is as value increases, the things that you are able to go ahead and sell and make money on the back of Instagram is a lot higher. Now this worked for anything, for like theme pages, like my, my, my booty page and my, my teeth page and my, uh, like my, my longer lashes page, or it could work with like a personal brand, right? They're all in essence the same when it comes to making money. The more value you could provide, the more money you could actually make. This is, in essence shows exactly how I was able to pull in so much because we solved a big problem, right? And what you essentially need to do is understand what your value ladder is. So here's an example because back in the day, I was supposed to follow the dental like industry because my mom and dad were super Asian. They're like, Mike, you have to become a doctor, dentist, lawyer, or nurse, right? So I know this very, very like innately in my DNA. But let me tell you the value ladder of a dentist. And if a dentist actually had, you know, an Instagram page that they wanted to make money on, right? So essentially what it was, was imagine I go to the dentist. What, what is like the highest level thing that a dentist could actually give me for the lowest amount of money, but the highest perceived value that I could actually think. So it's maybe like over here. I don't know, maybe a free dental checkup, right? Oh, the word free. So it's no money, but it's a little bit higher perceived value because you know um, I haven't been in the dentist in a while and it's free and I don't have to spend money on it, right? So I go ahead and sit in there. I, I get the deal and I'm like, okay, I wanna go ahead and for free. There's a coupon online, I go ahead and save it. The next thing that I could go ahead and do is go ahead and go and sit on the seat. So now I'm like sitting on the seat. He's literally going ahead and like putting his fingers in my mouth and you know, working on my teeth. Now while he's working on my teeth, he's like, Mike, um, really interesting. Um, do you smoke? And I'm like, no doc, why? I said, it's just, no, your, your teeth is like a little yellow. Uh, don't worry, uh, we have a teeth whitening service. Don't worry, insurance will go ahead and cover it. Uh, is this something you want? And I'm like, 
feeling self-conscious. I'm like, you call my teeth yellow? Yeah, doc, like, please. Like, if insurance is going to, yeah, yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, it's 300 bucks. Cool, yeah, let's do it. And then, that's a pain point that he installed in my mind. So it had more value because it was tied to a pain. So he charged me a bigger service. So this is like teeth whitening. Now, while he's whitening my teeth, he's like, oh, by the way, Mike, I noticed you have a gap. Did you have braces? I'm like, yeah, why? Dog, is, is the gap getting bigger? He's, he's like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. Don't worry, we, we could create a retainer for you. Don't worry, insurance will charge you. It'll be custom made, awesome, right? So then it's, I don't know, $500. So let me do retainer. And then, you know, it gets to the point where he's like, Mike, you're so butt ugly. Like you need, like you need cosmetic surgery, dental cosmetic surgery. That's his high level thing that he can probably charge three grand to five grand for. And every dentist's goal is to literally get people up the value ladder to make money. And before they end up leaving, guess what? They have to book an appointment six months around the road. So that's another six months money, six months money, six months money, six months money. It's reoccurring. So this in essence is what you have to build on your Instagram in the link right here. When you make these stories, when you go ahead and collaborate, when you go ahead and do the traveling and, and take pictures with your dogs and, and go to cool places and take all these pictures, understand that that's not the end goal be all. The end all be all goal is to get people into the first step of your value ladder. So how do you go ahead and do this? Very simple, it's known as bait, okay? Same way how when you date, you don't just bring them home, right? And just like, like without saying anything, Right? You have to like, you know, wine and dine them. You have to say, oh, like, this is what I do. This is what you do. Like, you have to do this little dance. Right? You have to attract people with something for free before they could get into the sale. And this dentist tried selling me this $3,000 package up front without me actually sitting in the chair. He would never have the opportunity for me to actually go ahead and buy. Right? So he had to lead me in for free or very, very low cost. So how do people actually go ahead and do this, right? It's literally with sales processes. So you can see exactly here, it's not even that complicated. Like what I wanna do is like collect emails, right? So I can go ahead and do this, do test, test. Let me build a funnel or a sales process, which is what it's called, right? And you can see that this entire ladder could be built very easy and very simply just with some software, right? So let me just take an example of this. Here is one, there's a bunch of templates and whatnot, and I could scroll down here, and what I could do is literally just click on any one of these, say it's like an ebook, I could click on select this template, and within a second, this is already built for me. Does that make sense? I could come in here, edit this page, and once it's edited, I could find out, okay, then what is the biggest value that I could give for the very low cost for me, right? So back in the day, I gave a bunch of cheat sheets, so I was like, okay, um, download the 10 most profitable niches to sell with t-shirts, right? That was like one of my first opt-ins. I would literally create something like this, a very small ebook, or it, like back in the day, it was just one PDF with literally, I, I went on to Fiverr, hired somebody, make it look all pretty for like five bucks, and I was like, okay, when someone goes ahead and gives me their email address, right? They give me their email address and their contact information, they will get my free PDF of the top 10 most highly profitable niches to sell on t-shirts, right? Because that's one of the ways that I made money online in the past, right? And when people go ahead and give me their email address from this, that's when they're sitting in my chair. So then guess what I do? I give them more value, sell them a little bit more higher level products, higher level products, higher level products, and I continue to do this until you know it goes up my value ladder, making me more and more and more money. But remember, the goal is to get them off of Instagram. Because odds are you're not gonna be like these influencers that have millions of followers on Instagram, that's fine. But there are people that live here in Bali, right? People like, so many people like, there's people like this um, that I interviewed on my podcast, like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million, or this guy that makes a million dollars from profit. But there are people that live here in Bali that literally have less than 10,000 followers and subscribers on their Instagram. They make six figures. They literally make six figures because they understand the method of literally getting people up their value ladder here. And if they're able to do that without millions of followers, then what's stopping you? But of course, if you want a faster and easier way to make money on social media, that's even faster than this. We literally have people like, for example, Dina, a stay-at-home mom at age 30, 47 years old, go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks without ever showing your face on social media, then sign up for this week's free workshop below because it's literally the fastest and easiest way to make money with social media right now this year. And check out this video and this podcast right here. Hopefully, self. see you guys later. Woo!